Well today is day 16 with Amazon Parrot Storm and I also wanted to do another video blog so I didn't have to write so much. Anyway, we did a couple changes to his environment lately. He has become very sexual as you guys know because of the weather, because it's hot outside, he's in Florida and he's changed completely different locations and environments. So what we decided to do is we had him spend today outside, which he's done one other day with us, and he didn't like it so much. He screamed for about five minutes when we first put him out, then he mellowed out. Our other birds were out there having a good time, so I think he realized, okay, I'm the only one that's kind of timid about this and unsure, and he seemed to calm down right away. So we tried it today again. This is about a week or two later, and he did really good today. He didn't scream at all. He had a good time, and he was very talkative, which was really exciting for us. So he enjoyed his time outside, and what we decided to do was actually switch his cage because he started to get a little bit possessive over his cage towards other people. Not so much me, but towards other people. So we decided to vary up his environment again. We changed him to another cage and what we decided to do was take all the other birds out of the room. So we transferred all of our birds out into the aviaries. So he's the only one in the Florida room besides our parakeets, which we have three of, and our swains and toucan Fiji. So those are the only companions there in the Florida room. No more parrots running about being all crazy. This is the new cage that we moved Storm into. So you can see it is against this wall. Those doors are into my bedroom, and that was his old cage that he was previously at, where he could obviously see into my bedroom as much as he wanted. Now he can't. I want to explain a little bit of why we decided to change these things for Storm's environment. One, we moved all the birds out because every time we went in to give them attention and maybe not Storm, he seemed to get a little bit more frustrated. And since he already has the season and everything else playing against him, we felt like it was really not setting him up for the right success by having the other birds in there and causing that jealous aggression type behavior. So we decided to just take them out of the picture, completely move them outside. The other reason we changed him into a new cage is just to get rid of that possessive behavior in case that was adding on to his aggression. We wanted to make sure that he can adapt to new places and new things and uh, his owners told us that they want to change his cage when he gets home so we want him to be used to changing environments and adapt to new toys and all new things in his environment. We want him to be able to adapt really, really well to change. The other reason that we changed his cage is because this new cage is against a wall where he can't always see us. In his old cage, he literally woke up to me. He can see right into our bedroom and he would watch me wake up and it was causing a lot of sexual behavior. I would wake up to him doing his thing and it was just a little uncomfortable and I felt like I was really adding on to his sexual frustration that way where he could always see me but he couldn't always be with me. So what I decided to do was move him into a different cage where that isn't always going to happen. He can't always see me. He can only see me from about one to two rooms instead of almost all of them throughout the house. We're going to see if that calms down his sexuality and uh, maybe decreases a bit more aggression because, you know, everything's just kind of playing against him right now. So we're just trying to limit the sexual contact as much as humanly possible. So hopefully this will help. These are just a few changes we implemented real quick on day 16. We'll see how it goes. Of course, we'll keep you guys updated as always.